Welcome back to Mise en Place. Today we are going to make organic chicken stock. As usual with Mise en Place, we need to have everything in its place. So very first off, we have our mirepoix. And mirepoix is carrots, celery, onions. Then we have our bouquet garni. It's going to be adding our flavor. We have our chicken bones, the backs and the breast bones. The wings that we had from the egg cut and the boneless chicken breast. We have our container to put our chicken stock in after it's finished. We have our stock pot to cook our chicken stock. We have some very cold water. We have a ladle to remove the scum. And the French have a lovely name for that called dépoulage. So we'll remove the scum from there and a container to put it in. And some tongs too move the chicken bones around. So very first thing you want to do is heat your oven. We want to blast this to get this going. And you use cold water because that's going to help to bring the impurities out of the bones. And that's exactly what we want to do. So we'll take our chicken bones, we'll place them in the bottom. There's a really good carcass and it's the collagen out of the bones that you want to get. It's going to gelatinize and make for wonderful chicken stock. So we have two breast bones there, we have a backbone, another backbone, um, some more breast meat, a couple of wing tips. We don't want to get that fat in there um, because that's really going to, we don't want to get that fat in there because that's going to make it a fatty stock and that we don't want. Okay, so now that we have that going, we'll take our water and you want to cover the chicken bones all the way. To just about a little bit over the top and then we'll let that bring it to a boil and then we'll move on to the next step. So now we have a full boil and so we want to take our ladle and we want to remove all these impurities. We don't want that to go back into the stock. That's what's going to cloud the stock and that's going to give it an off taste to your stock. We just want the pure natural chicken flavor and the collagen and the bones. So this is what the French call dépoulage. Such a beautiful word for skim the scum. So get this all this impurities off here. You're going to want to boil that back into the stack. So what we do once we have this removed, we are going to add uh, our mirepoix and then our aromatics and then we'll cook that. And you don't want to cook too long on a chicken stock. A good 30 to 45 minutes to release all the flavors from the bones otherwise some of the lime can come out of the bones and cloud your stock so we pretty much have almost all the impurities out of here Get a little bit more of it here and we'll boil that down for a good five more minutes we'll add the mirepoix and then we'll let it go for about another 15-20 minutes Taste it. And you don't want to salt your stock. Some chefs think you should, but I don't think you should just because as it reduces, it's going to intensify the saltness. So as a good stock should be without any seasoning. And then when you're going to make your sauce or your soup, that's when you go ahead and season your stock. You got a good hearty boil going. This is cooked down for a little bit. Now it's time to add the aromatics, the mirepoix. We have some carrots and you want to have probably 20 to 30 percent carrots, 20 to 30 percent celery and then about 70 percent onions. we will make a lovely, add the extra aromatics and flavor enhancer to the stock. It's all about building flavors. Slowly building flavors, adding components as you go can't rush it, it has to take time and uh, we'll let that cook and meanwhile I'm going to add the next aromatic which is called a bouquet garni which is comprised of leeks, fresh parsley, bay leaf we're going to roll that over in there and you can either tie it up in butcher's twine or you can put it in some of this uh, what do they call this again? This is called, I forgot, we're going to put it inside of this cheesecloth. Cheesecloth! Thank you, Bill. I'm going to wrap it inside this cheesecloth. 
put it in there. That's going to add the final level of flavors to the dish. So in goes the bouquet garni, or a little sachet of cheesecloth. Away we go. I think we can add some more of these ingredients. We'll just put them all in there. Cook with passion and feeling. Get them all in there. Alright, and then we're going to let these cook down. Um, and then we'll strain away. Now it's time to put the stock to rest. We're just going to ladle it through here. So we just get nice clean stock. And then we'll cool that. Another thing I also like to do is once I put it in there, then I like to take this little container and I pour stock into there. Uh, then I freeze it and then I can just take out a cube at a time uh, if I'm going to make a small batch or if I'm going to make a couple of some sauces and I've got stock frozen, I don't have to worry about this whole batch. Stock freezes very well, keeps up for a couple of good months. And that's it. That's the end of organic chicken stock. Thank you very much and we'll see you later.